guys, this is Kim with Batty Tatty Scrapper. I have a DT project to share with you. Okay, so I was kind of trying to find some inspiration or something to do for all of those who um, know me. You know I've been trying to um, totally clean out my house and everything. And um, it's done and of course it passed inspection. So I'm so excited about that. Yahoo! That is all done and over with so now I can get to what I love doing, which is crafting. Yay! Okay, so, um, Tamara um, sent me this herbs and honey um, kit, and I'm going to make a three by three um, box card with it. And um, I'm thinking the website, or I'm sorry, the YouTube channel that I found this on was Papercraft, and, um, she gave most of the basic measurements, but I'm going to give you all the measurements. Um, so that can help y'all complete it a lot faster than it did for me. So, anywho, let's move on. I just want to show you this kit. It's just so awesome. So first of all, you're going to get a 6x6 um, Urban Honey book. And this is by Basic Gray. And let me show you these gorgeous little papers. Okay, so sorry. I've already pulled some out. So um, you do get doubles of everything. This one is just a beautiful green solid pattern. And then we have kind of like this um, pink and cream colored um, floral pattern here. And then we have this funky do, um, I call it retro, um, pink and red and white and black. Really cute, super, super cute. I can't wait to do my next project with this. Okay. And then we have, this is really stinking cute. Is it not? Just has all the fruits and vegetables. It says you're very sweet, farmer's market. Um, your artichoke cart. Um, bloom where you are. You know, a little little thing, et cetera. And then this I call the vegetable page, which is kind of like this um, pumpkin color. Um, a more of a matte pumpkin color, I would say. And then we have this really cute other retro paper, which is like triangles um, with the gold color and um, white squares in the middle. And then we have this really cute, um, I call it the barn look with the barn wood flooring. And then it says fruit, vegetables, preserves, herbs. Um, I think that's a mulberry, mulberry farms, farm vegetables, etc., etc., etc. Fresh fruit, blah blah, produce. Okay, and then we have this really cute um, other gold and white pattern paper right here. Somehow it looks kind of mustard too, but not exactly. Let's see if you can get a better look close up. Okay, and then we have another gold mustard color, beautiful, which I used one of those. And then we have, I call this Strawberry Fields Forever. I know, Beatles song. I know some of you ladies remember the song. And then we have this multicolored stripe here with fall colors or vegetable produce colors. Again, another green page with produce on it. And then this is kind of like the Farmer's Almanac, I believe. Um, it says astronomical calculation, so yeah, it is. Um, and then this is really cute. This is kind of like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of a pinky, pink, brown, and white polka dots. Really super duper cute. Ah, okay, that one doesn't want to pull it. Okay, then we have another mustard um, gold color with white and kind of like a flowered um, look in there. Or medallion, I don't even know how else to describe it. Kind of like a Celtic look. And then we have your tomato color. And then we have again with the tomato, um, a little bit lighter with uh, squares and um, diamonds. Oh, it's like three of those. How interesting. I'm sorry, maybe everyone does have three. I guess they're all, there's three in each. I'm sorry, my bad. Okay, and then here's a floral one. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to this, so cute. You know, I'm gonna zoom in so y'all can see it a little bit better. Hold on. Okay. 
Sorry, I know I'm really close. I'm about to back it up in about two seconds. Okay. I think this is so cute. Now, some of it I've already taken out to use on my project. But let me show you what's in here. Let me get this open here real quick. Okay, so you get a lot of um, colored acetate, and one of these is like this, I don't know if you can see that, that's a little bit better, a little squiggly thing. Hold on one second, I'm gonna fix the light in here. It is something else, guys. There we go. Sorry, I just had to open my blinds a little bit more. I even have the light on in here. Okay, and then we have like the little fence post that says blue. Now we have, I don't know what these are, like little spatulas. I don't know, but they're really super cute. And they have like a little window there. And you just kind of have like a little flag. Another little flag. This one says growing like a weed. This one says um, border silk fine threads. Be honest. And then, I really don't know what these are, but they're like little... Put something in, you know, kind of brackets. There we go, brackets. Then we have a one. Then another acetate that says be humble. Then one that says be, oops, hold on. I'm going to do it this way. Be happy. Then a little acetate flower. Then we have one that's um, like, you know, you fold it over a little tab that says fun times. Cute. Another one that says noted. Super duper cute. Um, this one says the thread that binds us. I love that thing. Um, a couple more fence posts that don't have any words on them. Um, this one says my heart beats for you. Is that not cute? And we have a little acetate jar. This one says pair fit together. Then we have kind of like a little square with a circular window. Let's see. Ugh, okay, sorry. It's a little bit better. Um, and then it has like a little see-through thing. This one says top quality. This one says you're the cream of the crop. I feel so lucky to know you. This one says be kind. This one says be true. And then you have some more little acetate flowers and then some more little acetate like screws just the top of it oh, or brads if you call it that um another little spatula see-through window there another tab that says memories this is gonna make like a perfect cute little mini but that's not what we're doing today <laughs> we're making something even super cuter this one says like two peas in a pod this is like a date and time tab. This one says, happy times. This one says, oh, happy day. I'm sorry, I had a bust down in the tune, my bad. <laughs> this one says number two. This one says, so sweet. Another acetate, little squiggly. Okay, then we have another jar, acetate jar. Another acetate spatula. Kill some flies with that. I'm just playing. Okay, this one says SC treats. Some little cherries. Let's see. Hold on. This might help show it better. Is that better? I don't know. Can't really tell. Okay. And then we have the tomato. Okay. I'm gonna kind of push these aside here real quick. Okay, then let me show you real quick. This one has, oops. I'm gonna make my little thing go crazy, right? Okay. I love these little stickers and these little bottle caps. Are they not too stinking cute? So we have um, Italian grape soda. We have Dandy's, um, bottling company and then we have real sweet limeade citrus soda pop and then we have some pears in here a little um star design this one says pop um some strawberries flowers stripes 
you know, these kind of all match the papers. This one says sweetness, kind of reminds me of corn. Um, let's see, this one says um, moral great dairy, um, Guern Guernsey, milk pasteurized, hillside dairy. Um, then we have another one that's like 100% organic apple juice, cherry, and then very delicious. Okay, so let's get started on the actual project, which you're going to start off with a, I kind of pre-did everything, guys, so just bear with me. I already did it, bye. Sorry, that was my daughter interrupting. Okay, so this is a three by three box. And um, first of all, I used um, just your basic um, paper bag looking cardstock. And I'm actually going to back this up a little bit here again. It's a little too close for me. There we go. Okay, now a little more room. Okay. So, basically, this. Um, Plain piece of cardstock is uh, okay. So like I didn't put the measurements for that. Oh, such a nut. Okay, sorry. Well, we'll do this real quick and find out what the measurements are. Okay. So basically, this is six and a half by three. So yep, six and a half by three for sure. Okay. So let me explain a little bit about what I did. Hold on. I'm so sorry. It seems so disorganized, but I'm really not. It's just the lighting here is just not optimal for me. Here we go. Okay, so um, I just did the six and a half by three, cut it, scored it at the um, the one and one and a half inch, the three inch line. The four and a half inch and then cut it off at the six inch then i rotated it one time and then i scored it at the one inch line then um i took two pieces of other cardstock hold on one second let me just grab my whole little stack of papers here okay Okay, so these are going to be your little pop-up pieces, and um, these right here, so I made two of them, and they're both the same size, of course. Um, they're two and a half inches by one inch, and I scored it at half an inch on both ends. Um, then I, okay, on this one, I cut up to on these little flaps here to the one inch line and then these are not cut at all um, except for right here I basically cut off this little extra tab here and then um, I basically tapered this corner on the left hand side so then um, I decided well in, in hers and the one that I saw she did triple mat it and so this is what I'm going to do. So you're just going to put your little pop-up things to the side. So I took um, one, two, three, and then this long one, four. And all of those are this. Okay, so this one, I'm sorry. This one is basically one and three eighths at one and seven eighths inch. Sorry, it's got some glue on there. Okay, and then this one. Okay, this one is um, one and three eighths by two and seven eighths inch. And so that one's just gonna be straight across, like straight up. So it's gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna take my score tape and then I'm going to put it, lay it down. Now we'll do all that in just a minute, um, but I just want to show you. So then. I did three pieces of a pattern paper and I decided to do the little um, pink one and then this 
ink is the um, Picked Raspberry by Tim Holtz. And so just basic, oh, and I did edge these with um, Tim Holtz um, a walnut stain. So basically these are all gonna go centered in here. And then I did one large one at one and a quarter inch by two and a half inch. Okay. And if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask me if you need the measurements again, you know, just definitely let me know. Um, and then here at the end, it's one and one eighth inch by two and three eighths inch for that one. And then for my third one, I decided to do the patterned um, vegetable paper. And so it's gonna go something like this or however you wanna put it on here. You don't want it facing this way. <clears throat> okay, so this is all the outside of your box. Then I took my base again. These were all seven, sorry, seven eighth inch by one and three eighths. And so, and again, walnut stained. And I'm sorry, these were walnut stained too on the very top. Now these I only double matted and I will explain to you why in a minute because they were so tiny that when I triple matted it you couldn't even see basically behind the, uh, the, the second mat. So I decided just to do the double mat and for this one I'm going to do it like so. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, this is all going to, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this off camera. All I'm going to do is um, use my score tape that I have and I have the quarter inch, but I suggest half inch is probably a lot faster. So um, since it's going to take me a little bit of time, I will show you when we get back. I'm back okay so basically I finished the rest of the project because it was really pretty simple and I will try to explain it to you okay you know I'm gonna scooch it back just a little bit but I wanted y'all to kind of see a close-up of it isn't it cute it is so tiny this is super duper stinking cute okay and actually you can see my little piece of tape under here that I'm not gonna use that okay Scooch back a little bit here. Oops. Okay, so basically I, you know, score taped all the um, layers. I did the base, the middle, and the top. And then of course, I only did a base and a middle for the top portion. And then for the bottom here, you know, and then this, you know, stays blank. So if you can kind of see in there, I kind of put it at a little bit of an angle, just a slight, slight pinch of an angle, so that when you fold it closed to put in the envelope, it'll fold close like that. But otherwise, it just kind of pops up like that. Um, if this drives you crazy, like this is driving me crazy, um, I don't know if I like this flap, you know, sticking up. Kind of covers up the rest of it but anywho this is what i ended up with and um i will give you all the measurements for these little things and then another thing i don't know how she did it but um she had it where it was kind of like um in, in her tutorial she had it straight i went ahead and cut off the little edges so that they don't show and so that you don't see the glue so if you can see where i kind of like cut off the little pinch between here and here where it folded a little bit um i just basically moved that be i mean removed it because um i didn't want to see the extra tape and i really didn't want to see the extra box so basically i only did on that one side and see like this side is okay and then i did the same thing on this piece too and then of course i have this one down in the box a little bit lower so that it looks like it's layered so this one's a little bit higher than this one's a little bit lower. And um, basically I used a little um, guard, which actually I kind of threw it away, but it was three inches long 
and the first one was one inch tall and the other one was a half an inch and so basically what I did was um, with my two um, things I basically lined that on top so I knew um, where to stay in line with it um, but I definitely thought this was a really cute cutie patootie project and I hope y'all like it thanks y'all have a good one bye